you with it, Jackie Dumpson. Check it out. Because I told y'all, man, a nigga is only as loyal as his goddamn last meal. And Lil J is finding out now. Now, his brother told us that his day one homie was snitching on Lil J, okay? And then he promised to put out more evidence, including, of course, like a conversation or like some audio and video of the person or the day one homie, which is, I believe is FBG Butter, in the interrogation room. Now, let me just tell you how crazy this is, man, because these guys probably smoked on packs together, they fucked bitches together, did everything together, probably made fun of other niggas who were snitching, but when shit got real in, and I asked this question on my uh, Instagram, okay, I said, if you had a murder rap hanging over your head, you didn't commit the murder, but maybe you were the, you were the getaway driver or something like that, would you snitch on your day one homie if you know he did it, okay? If you don't snitch, if nobody talks, okay, everybody's gonna get like 50 years because somebody gotta get the time for the murder. Everybody said, nah, man, fuck that. My homie gotta put that money on my books. I ain't taking nothing, okay? Listen, man, as long as my homie take care of my family, I do the time. Niggas is front like a motherfucker online. That's why I know niggas ain't even real friends because they can't even be real with themselves and say, yo, I fuck with you, but if you gonna let me go down for something that I didn't do, fuck you, nigga. I'm stitching on you, okay? Now, FBG Butter, uh, if you guys don't know, uh, a couple of pictures, so we haven't seen the videos yet, a couple of pictures were released by uh, Lil J's brother that shows someone that looks awfully like FBG Butter, especially when he went in because there's also like a mugshot that has him wearing the same clothes, but it doesn't look too good. It looks kind of first 48-ish, and I'm not talking about the Grim Reaper mention, I'm talking about, damn, it looks like the actual TV show, right? We're seeing pictures on the table, him pointing, him signing, him looking like he's walking through the cops through the whole goddamn thing. And, hey, listen, I ain't got no problem with what he's doing. To be honest, this is called cooperating with the police. Y'all call it snitching, okay? Because y'all, in y'all minds, y'all are fucking criminals. But he's cooperating with the police. Um, This is probably not good for Lil J, okay? This is probably sealing the fact that Lil J may be not getting out, okay? This guy probably just gave Lil J 25 years right here, but... This is fucked up, man, and um, I'm not going to say it's fucked up on anybody's part because I can't tell them how to run their criminal organization or whatever crime they did, okay? You should have did your crime by your goddamn self. Once you get arrested with a bunch of niggas, okay, you better be racing to snitch because if you didn't, somebody already snitched on you. Now, even if Lil J trying to snitch, they'd probably be like, nigga, we don't want a secondhand snitch. We already got the firsthand snitch. You should have been volunteering to snitch. And it's very unfortunate. So when there's more information released, I'll let you guys know. But these pictures are definitely, they're quite alarming. And I'm hearing that there's video coming too. And by the way, the police ain't dumb. The police probably gave this to Lil J that he could somewhat leak it or whatever the case is. And they know what they're doing because they're turning all these guys against each other. That's how they give niggas years. And not even only years, decades in jail. Okay, get a comment box, make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe to Woody Jack Academics. I'm out.